arterial and aortic pulse pressure. As the left ventricle ejects blood into the aorta, the aortic pressure increases. The greater the stroke volume, the greater the change in aortic pressure during ejection. The maximal change in aortic pressure during systole, which is from the time the aortic valve opens until the peak aortic pressure is attained, represents the aortic pulse pressure, which is defined as the systolic pressure minus the diastolic pressure. For example, if the systolic pressure is 130 mm of Hg and the diastolic pressure is 85 mm of Hg, then the pulse pressure is 45 mm of Hg. Pulse pressure is equal to systolic pressure minus diastolic pressure. The rise in aortic pressure from its diastolic to systolic value is determined by the compliance of the aorta as well as the ventricular stroke volume. In the arterial system, the aorta has the highest compliance due in part to a relatively greater proportion of elastin fibers versus smooth muscle and collagen. This serves as the important function of dampening the pulsatile output of the left ventricle, thereby reducing the pulse pressure. If the aorta were a rigid tube, the pulse pressure would be very high. Because the aorta is compliant as blood is ejected into the aorta, the walls of the aorta expand to accommodate the increase in blood volume. As the aorta expands, the increase in pressure is determined by the compliance of the aorta at that particular range of volumes. The more compliant the aorta, the smaller the pressure change during ventricular ejection. Therefore, aortic compliance is a major determinant along with stroke volume of the pulse pressure. Summary A highly compliant aorta that is less stiff or normal aorta has a smaller pulse pressure for a given stroke volume into the aorta than a stiff, low compliant aorta. A larger stroke volume produces a large pulse pressure at any given compliance. Aortic compliance decreases with age due to structural changes, thereby producing age-dependent increase in pulse pressure. For a given stroke volume, compliance determines pulse pressure and not mean aortic pressure. However, because vessels display dynamic compliance, increasing the rate of ventricular ejection will increase the pulse pressure compared to the same volume ejected at a lower rate.